Okay, so what's up, YouTube? That neon channel here for another video, another daily upload. So today we're gonna fuck with the T40 some. Since we have her in the garage and in the position that we want her in. Uh, right now we're gonna jack her up. And instead of putting jack stands on the sides um, or blocks, we're actually gonna stick a couple blocks, probably two, right here in the middle of the subframe. So I don't have them in my way all the way around the car. And, you know, that's already, you know, got a beam in the way, so it won't be in the way. Um, I'm a jack it on the front because I got the tube chassis, and that's the easiest place to jack on these cars. Is when you put a tube front end on there and you use them as a jacking point. Because, you know, previous owner already beat the frames up on it, so. And it's yeah, as if the frame isn't already in bad enough shape. Um, so yeah, we're going to jack this up, put some blocks under there, um, so we can start ripping the suspension off and recoding the suspension and stuff, simple things until me and my dad can take a look at this ring and figure out how we're going to fix it. Um, you know, worst comes to worst, if my dad's is this too far gone, which I really want to still try to fix it, you know, even if I just use it as a straight drift car only until it snaps the frame in half or blows one of the strut towers apart or something i still want to you know try to drift this car and you know worst comes to worst i'll pull the coils off i'll cut the tube chassis off the front i'll pull off everything that's good the wingless uh wiperless rustless hatch you know the doors the seats everything that's good i'll tear off of it and i'll put in another chassis that's clean you know it's whatever. I'm not that worried about it. Um, mainly, I bought this car for the tube chassis and the coils. And I was going to say, fuck it. Instead of fixing the frame, just put another... Put the coils in the tube chassis and everything else that's good on a clean body. So my buddy JR keeps telling me. I just want to... I, I want to give it a chance, you know? Can't hurt to give it a chance. What am I going to do? Waste 200 bucks on fixing the frame? You know, it's the only thing that I can't use if I get another chassis, you know. Everything else I'll be able to take off the car and put onto another car. So, it is what it is. Um, we're going to give it a chance, though. So, let's jack this thing up. I'll set the camera up. We'll jack her up. And jack the rear up. I'll probably put it on the diff in the rear. I don't know where to jack it from because I'll have to jack on the diff. But we'll figure that out once we get to the rear. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's jack this fucking car up and get it in the air. I forgot one of my jacks are underneath the trailer out there. Whatever. So, um, yeah, let me get the jack. We'll find out a way to get it under here. We'll get some blocks and, uh, jack it up. Stick them underneath the subframe. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, sorry, I don't know why I forgot, but uh, I jacked on the little tow hitch thingamajig here, and I put me two blocks underneath the diff. If I need to take the diff off, I'll jack them up and I'll stick them on that black piece right, right there. It's not really black, but, you know, we'll just pretend it's supposed to be for now. Now we gotta do the front. Jack it up right here on this uh, this bar underneath, cause this is stiffened it up enough that it won't bend. We'll put a block right there. We got a big one over there. I we'll take the ramp apart, cause this bar enough makes something new. Um, it will use the safe. Anyways, we we'll use that block in there for now. And uh, once I get the jack over there and jack it up and put the block in there, I'll be back. See you later. Now we're going to jack the front end up. Brad came back to help me. It's like this different day. Um, this big block's way too heavy for me. Just drop it. Oh, shit. I guess just throw it right here in front of the car for now until I get the jack underneath of it. And then we're going to put it underneath the middle of the subframe. Just drop it right here on the ground. Move, mate! Get on your bed. Why can't you just stay out of everybody's damn way? Get on your bed. You want to drag this jack around to the front for me? You don't have to, I can. These are just stronger than I am. Now 
way. Oh. Meat, back on your bed. Meat, get on your bed. I got you. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. He listens very well, don't he? Like I said, I put a tube for an animal here, guys. So this is a good jacket point now. Not really. We want to get more cushion to the middle. I get this up we're gonna put this block right in the middle right there or ain't that big one in the middle like that no the right underneath it. Just the yeah right right the long it. ways underneath of it <laughs> yeah so i don't know if you want to slide it in or if you want to drop it down the back hole and slide it forward i think it'd probably be just easier to push yeah, it in like it huh I don't think I can reach that far. <laughs> Hopefully my wheels are off the ground. Yeah, they are. Hopefully that should be high enough, right? Cool. Get it long ways. You could probably climb in there if you want. Need another pump? Uh, maybe. <clears throat> you got this side, you push this. Alright, so we got her in the middle here. Should be good. Perfect. Are both wheels off the ground? Perfect. I'd like to support the rear but some way better. I need to jack it up higher with like somehow, but let's take these front wheels off. That's why my lock which should be right here. No, my lock's in the door of my car. You wanna get it for me? You know what it is, right? You know what the lock is, though? Mm -hmm. Okay. Grab that impact wire over there, wherever it's at. I found it. I got it. This thing? Yep. Here, you can take them off. It's the right size, right? Is it loose or tight? Let me see how. Feels good to me. It's already in loose mode. Stick, there's only two on this. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put that as well. We'll just stick them underneath the car. For now. We're gonna slide the wheel underneath the door whenever you get it off. If you can. Mine's hitting the frame rail. Stick it underneath the door if it'll fit. Like under the car? Yeah. Perfect. Let's slide around as best as you can, that's good enough. Cool. Now we got both wheels off, take the rears off too. Yeah. Huh? Huh? I said take the back wheels off too if you can. We're gonna uh, paint all this shit that's getting rust on it. These coils are still good. Um, No grease or nothing. Huh? Yeah, take them off, they're both off the ground. I took them both off the ground. Isn't it? No? Uh -huh. This one is up. This one's not? Mm -hmm. I swear. It's cause this stupid thing. Fuck. I accidentally left it underneath in there. Wow. <laughs> so it's pushing the car over.
Move that rice bucket out of my way, please. It's actually fine, I got it. Move that jack stand out of the way. It's good now. So what I was saying is, uh, I'm gonna take obviously these rotors need replaced. I have uh, brand new rotors drilled slotted that are four lugs. They're they were five lugs that were drilled to four from the factory, and it has Z32 brakes we're gonna stick on here. So I have big brake kit. Um, I have braided brake lines to put on here. Neat, lay on your bed. Stop following Brad around. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, the ISIS. Uh, we'll better have fucking all the ISIS suspension off. Respray all that. The uh, A arms will respray them. Um, we'll put new tie rod ends on it probably. Uh, we'll just spray all this with undercoating. I have undercoating since it's all in pretty good shape. The strut tires are in nice shape still. Uh, um, same with this side. You can see the strut tires in alright shape. Uh, we'll have to fix this rust. So I said I might just have to get a whole nother car, but we'll see. Um, again, with this suspension, you see this is in a lot better shape, so we don't have to do as much work. But uh, again, change the brakes to the big brake kit I have. The calipers are upstairs. I have Nissan rebuild kit for the calipers too. If I want a powder coater, I'm a powder coater. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in another video. Um, I have a stove. That's my sandblaster I built. Um, there's the brand new drill slider rotors. Four drilled to five. Or five drilled to four somehow. See how they are. So you can still use your four lugs, which is pretty sick. Or you can use five lugs. I thought that was pretty cool. Came with the car. Along with the Z32 brakes and a couple of other things. Um, so yeah, we're going to clean all this up, repaint it all, make it look nice, undercoat it all before it gets any rustier. Sand off what real rust is in here. Uh, you got that wheel off? Alright, we're going to take a look at this one. Take this wheel and set it right here. Bring that other wheel over here whenever you get it off. We're actually just going to stack them all four right here. I'm not face down either. Okay, with the rear, strut tower is in good shape. We'll re spray the spring. Coil over is in great shape. You can go lower, that's why it was so low. Uh, we'll sand all that down, spray it. With the uh, same with these, we'll try to lube these up, and make them good again. Hopefully, they can uh, be saved. I don't see why they couldn't. Maybe I'll just spray them with some PB blaster now. Let's we'll sand all this shit down, respray it. That's crazy. I still got this plastic shit on there. We'll upgrade uh, the rear brake uh, fucking calipers or whatever. Where's the uh, PB blaster I got? Uh, and then I got two cans of shit. You stack it on top of the other one. Uh, you can do it whenever you want a chance. It's too heavy for me. We're gonna stick the other ones there too. Just so they're out of the way. Alright, I'm gonna find my PB blaster in my four way and I'll be back. Well wow, guys, look at that. It was right beside me. Didn't even have to move. I wish y'all could smell this four way, it smells so good. Thank you, bro. Blue things? I don't have any more. Oh, those? Uh, I don't know. 
sure I have one, but I'll drink whatever you want. Mine's probably warm anyways. Can you get that other wheel for me? Oh. I just want to stack them all there. Let's spray some more of this shit. Spray all this shit. Make it all nice and lubed up for when I do take it apart. I should have did all this shit before I parked it. Stop it away from me, thank you. That way it's all out of the way. We don't have to worry about it. I don't know why I can't get the shot so good. I should have did that shit before I fucking parked it in the grass, but whatever. It doesn't look that bad for how long it sat there. Is this suspension all jacked off? Yeah, dude, whoever put this suspension on here was an idiot. No wonder one wheel was off the ground. The fucking suspension is not even, even. I can't expect much out of who I got it from. What else was I doing? Oh, the. the the uh, sway bar brackets and bushings and shit. One more wheel. That's why the one wheel was off the ground and this one wasn't because this one's way down and that one's way up. I'm afraid to even know why. These look like they're not even close either, kind of they are. Uh, sorry for the shitty camera work, guys. I'm not the best. Sorry if it does eat this paint off, we're gonna repaint it all anyway. It's probably black or red, something bright. I want it to stand out when people look inside. I wanna get some nice chrome wheels one of these days too to replace my uh, XXRs or whatever these fucking things are. I forget what brand they were. Some expensive wheels, they're nice though. Um, yeah, so we oiled up all the suspension. We took the wheels off, we put it on jacks. Um, so yeah, the suspension can sit overnight with all that nice fluid on there. All right. I don't know that we're going to take the suspension off tonight. I just wanted to lube it up. Um, what will we start with? I mean, might as well start with the suspension since we can't do the frame yet. Well, I guess we'll start tracing out the frame tomorrow. So tomorrow's video, we might uh, start tracing out the frame with cardboard and start making templates and see if we can find a piece of steel. I go to some place if I don't have a piece big enough and we'll try to match out that piece of steel. Um, I watched a video a long time ago where I saw these guys use these Subaru, I forget, I want to say it was a Subaru Forest or Side Skirts for there and I think I'm just gonna buy some Subi side skirts for the side of here if I don't get a nice deal on a 240 body kit a long time ago I saw a real nice front bumper that I wanted to get I have a pig nose people say they look better I think they look better with the intercooler showing through but I'm personally I like the shark nose bumper better because I don't like those two little holes in the front so I might find me a shark nose bumper for the front of this like you guys, if you know me well enough, you know I like the stock look better. As close to stock as I can get. That's why for a chase car, we're going to use an SRT4 bumper, which is stock on a neon. But I hate body kits. I just don't like what they look like. So we're going to try to keep this thing as close to stock as we can get it to look. Probably put some wheel flares on here if we can't find some wide body. Because I know I ain't going to spend no money on wide body unless, you know, my sub count blows up. But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, share it with your friends, show them this new 240 build going on. Boy's got a tube front end. He wants to put a 2J in here but can't afford it. 
So he's just going to do a regular KA turbo, KA single cam turbo, so torque monster. Um, what I say, if you hit it, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. Any suggestions for shit you want to see on this channel or you want to see me do to the 240, any suggestions are welcome. I write them all down. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another daily video. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more 240 builds, more neon builds, more Brad neon builds, more Grom builds. We're going to tear this thing down here in a couple days. Hopefully tomorrow or something we're going to start tearing this thing down. we got to put it up on blocks. So we're going to put this thing up on blocks. And uh, tear everything off of it that's good that we can use on another car to sell or something. Even though I could use this whole car, my neighbors, I told you, are being fags. So I got to get rid of my shit that I don't need. So I'm going to tear everything off of here, put it up in the top of the barn, scrap this thing, fill it up with as much metal as we can, and junk it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily video. So subscribe for more 240 builds and every other thing else you guys seen. Um... Go share that video of teaching my girlfriend how to ride. I'm trying to make that my number one video on my channel. The one uh, where she rides it by herself. And uh, if you all want to learn about my projects, go check out the update on uh, all my projects. And it'll tell you what I'm planning on doing to all my cars. So, if you're new to the channel. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.